This episode is all about the direction of the magnetic force. So it's just a practice, not much of magnetism, more of vectors actually. So we have seen before that the magnetic force on any charge, F of B, is given by the Lorentz equation, which is Q times V cross B. This tells us that the magnetic force, the direction of the magnetic force, I'm going to use a unit vector over here, is the same as the direction of V cross B, provided we're dealing with positive charges. So as long as you're dealing with positive charges, the direction is that. But if you're dealing with negative charges, then all you need to do is flip the sign of V cross B, because there will be a negative over here. In other words, you calculate what happens for a positive charge, and then if it was a negative charge, all you need to do is put a negative sign, meaning that the direction of the force would just flip over. All right, so that's all we need to worry about. So this episode is more about understanding how to deal with the vector product and how do you get the direction of the vector product. And I think it's quite important before we go forward to make sure that we understand this very well. For me to be able to communicate with you effectively, what I want to do is I'm going to consider three axes and we're going to have three standard axes over here. You're going to have one axis over here. Just to be clear, try and understand x, y plane is the plane of this screen. x, z plane and y, z planes are the planes that are that are actually coming out of the screen. We can't see that, all right? So for all future references in this video, we're gonna use this as x, y, and this to be our z. All right, so without any further ado, let's try and, and take some of the cases and let's try and work out the direction of the magnetic force. So let's consider case number one. And let's say in case one, we have a charge, a positive charge. So case one is for a positive charge. And let's say that charge is moving towards you know, it's moving upwards with the velocity v and let's say at that point the magnetic field is towards the right all right so the question is what is the direction of the magnetic force acting on this charge in other words what's the direction of v cross b i want you to think of v cross b or, or any cross product as a rotation meaning you see v is trying to cross towards b and that is like saying, you know, V is trying to rotate towards B. So if you were to make the V rotate towards B, notice that the V would rotate this way. And that rotation, as you can see, is clockwise. Can you see that? One more time. This is the rotation that would look like. And therefore, let me write down that rotation. That rotation is going to look like this, clockwise. And if you could complete that rotation, it's going to come like this. Notice that this rotation is in the X y plane all right so let me use all right once we have the rotation ready the next step is to use your right hand thumb rule to figure out the direction of the direction of the vector and here is how you look at right hand thumb rules here we have right hand thumb rule all right so as you can see you you take your right hand you clasp it this way you know and then the the four curling fingers give the direction of the rotation this rotation is what i'm talking about so you turn your hand in such a way that rotation lies in the same plane. So in, a, in, a, in this case, you have to actually take your right hand and turn it such, where, such that the rotation. Notice that in this example, in this figure, the rotation is actually lying in the x, z plane. So this is not the actual orientation. But anyways, once you have the rotation, once you have the correct orientation of your right hand, then the direction of the vector is given by the thumb. All right. In this example, this is not the answer. I'm just using this to explain to you how to use your right hand thumb rule. So if you were to take your right hand thumb rule, if you were to take your right hand, and if you were to orient this properly, then I'm going to show you what it's going to look like in this example. It's going to look like this. And I hope you can see over here clearly, look at how the right hand thumb is. The rotation is actually in the XY plane. And notice that the thumb points inwards. And therefore, the force in this example is into the screen, all right? So there's your force. The force in this example is into the screen. And that is for a positive charge. But if this charge was negative, the force would be directed out of the screen. Let's consider case number two. Again, it's for a positive charge, all right? Let's assume that our velocity is downwards. This is the velocity vector. So this is where the charge is going. It's going downwards. And let's say that the magnetic field is into the, into the screen. Can you figure out the direction of the rotation? Can you figure out the plane of the rotation? Here's your x, y. The first step is to figure out the rotation. Once you have this rotation ready, 
then all you have to do is use your right hand all right so pause the video and try to get the rotation all by yourself if you're done notice that v is downwards and b is into the board into the screen and therefore the rotation is actually in the y z plane all right so the rotation is going to look like this v is trying to rotate towards b and the rotation is in the y z plane and therefore this time in v in order to get the right orientation what we need to do is we need to take this guy all right now we have to take this right hand and orient in such a way the direction of the rotation lies in the y z plane and it has to be as we can see and that can only happen if you rotate it this way so this is how your right hand should be so notice that the, the rotation is exactly what you get when you go v crossing towards b and this tells us that the force on the positive charge okay here the force on the positive charge would be towards the right remember that the force is always going to be the per, per, going to be perpendicular to the plane of rotation so once you get the plane of rotation you you only have two choices once either the force will be like you know uh, towards the right in this example or maybe the force is towards the left and then you can use the right hand thumb rule very easily to figure out what direction the force would be all right let's take one last one more case so let's let's go somewhere over. and imagine in case three we have we have a negative charge let's let's go for a negative charge this time and let's imagine in the case three we have the charge itself is let's say it's coming out of the out, out of the monitor yeah we do that all right let's do that let's let's take the charge and let's say the charge is coming out of the monitor and let's assume that your magnetic field is directed hmm, let's see downwards this way this is the direction of the magnetic field all right pause the video and see if you can figure out the direction of the rotation and then you can figure out the direction of the vector v cross b all right so here is our x y plane all right so we should draw this time the rotation from v to b is you know it's, it's not going to be in any of the planes so what we need to do is actually take this plane and rotate this it's all ourselves we need to rotate this so let's take our x y plane this way all right if we do that then we can see that the rotation is going to be from v to b all right so again the plane is going to look like this uh, the the rotation the, the vector this 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 arrow bar which i've drawn is actually coming out of the board and going back into the board and going back into the screen so the rotation is lying in this yz plane so what we need to do now is again take our right hand where is our right hand so let's bring him over here and let's try to make sure the orientation is this way hmm how would that look like well that's going to look like this I hope you were able to get that v to b all right so just look at this v to b is going to look like this and therefore v cross b is going to act downwards uh, v cross b is going to act downwards this way but then we should remind ourselves whoa, 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 whoa this is a negative charge and therefore the force is actually going to flip over so let's undo that and this way. our force is going to be in this direction that is the force of the magnetic field notice this is actually opposite of v cross b because it's a negative charge okay one last case for you and that's going to commence that's going to end this particular episode and case four is a very special case and you're going to do that yourself in case four i have the velocity vector which is going into the board into the screen and let's and, and, and assume this is positive charge okay and imagine that at that point the magnetic field is coming out of the screen i want you to tell me the direction of the magnetic force can you figure that out that's an assignment for you so i hope you were able to understand how to get the direction of the magnetic force see you next time